Uh, we went through Colorado today. We had three major events, and uh, the crowds were very, very big and very enthusiastic. So we think we have a good organization there. And that's a caucus state. Now we're in Nevada, and the same thing goes there. But we'll also be in, in uh, Minnesota. And it's easier for us to compete. You need energy, you need hard workers and people dedicated. They need to believe in something. And then you can compensate for not having 30 or $50 million to you know, campaign in a state like, like Florida. So uh, it lends itself and we're fortunate that the system still permits individuals like myself to compete when you uh, compete on uh, the fervor of uh, believing in ideas and having good supporters. So is money your biggest obstacle? You can't compete really with Mitt Romney or, for that matter, Newt Gingrich as far as money and super PACs and all of that. Is that the biggest problem you think you face? Well, no, I don't think it's the biggest. It's a significant one. Uh, I mean, if we uh, would have had endless funds or I would have had the wealth of Ross Perot, you know, I could have competed with, with Mitt, you know, in, uh, uh, in Florida. So that's a significant thing. But, but it's, uh, it's also, uh, you know, uh, winning the hearts and minds and getting people to understand that liberty is in their best interest and that we have to give up the spending. I mean, you, you know that I'm the only one that has talked about cutting spending. And Republican parties are supposed to be conservatives. They want cutting. But getting that message out, I mean, I have to overcome all the natural obstacles from getting on the evening news to, to all these other things. To If they want a fiscal conservative, the other haven't even talked about it and I've talked about cutting a trillion dollars and where I go we get a lot of applauses but I don't think I've gotten that message out that uh, I actually want to cut some spending and, and the others talk about cutting proposed increases over the next 10 years it's so far removed I think that if they knew one if they had one tenth the concern I had in Washington they'd be cutting spending this year not pretending they're going to cut over the next 10 years that to me is a serious flaw that they don't have no idea how serious our economic economic crisis is. I'm going to mention the three uh, candidates you're, you're challenging right now, and I'd like you to give me one sentence or so, if you can, about your biggest concern about each one of them. Mitt Romney first. I don't know whether you need to name all three because I think their positions are very similar. I think they uh, endorse a lot more, um, you know, involvement with our troops overseas and they're willing to use troops with undeclared wars. And so I would say that all three are in that category. Uh, nobody's really excited about uh, dealing with the Federal Reserve. I know there's been some comments made, but I don't think anybody else is serious. And that's a major issue. In personal liberty, this whole thing, I mean, how many of them talk? about, you know, maybe we ought to relook the Patriot Act and maybe we ought to look at the TSA and maybe we ought to look at the privacy issue of the American people. They, they're all in the same category and they don't have concerns for that. And I'm a stickler for the Constitution. I think we got in this mess because we don't follow it. We go to war without declaration. We're supposed to have a gold standard. We don't have it. So I think we can get out of our mess by having people really read the Constitution and obey it. And even if you don't get the nomination, you know you've already helped set the agenda on many of the most important points that you've, you've been advocating, not just this year, but for a long, long time. Uh, Congressman, we'll continue this conversation down the road. Thanks very much. Thank you, Wolf. Congressman Ron Paul joining us from Henderson, Nevada. He's in it for the duration. He, he really does want to set the agenda, even if he doesn't get the nomination. Yeah, and though he took part in both debates in Florida, he didn't really spend uh, any significant time or money there.